Some big crypto news coming out of Google today, all the while Bitcoin testing huge short term resistance. Could this big crypto news be the fuel that Bitcoin needs to break out? What is up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit the subscribe and like on the way in. I appreciate it. Let's jump into this Bitcoin video. There's Bitcoin real quick on the short term, testing upper trend line of a symmetrical triangle, testing short term Fibonacci resistance right here in that green rectangle. You know what happened yesterday. You know the news that was floating around. We had Coinbase partnering with Apple, Google wallets for crypto purchases. That was bullish. Now today, just now, breaking Google to let crypto exchanges and wallets target us users the ecosystem is growing this is extremely good and bullish for the crypto ecosystem starting from august 3rd which is in a couple months google will allow advertisers offering cryptocurrency exchanges and wallets to target us users they will have to meet a set of requirements outlined by the search giant and here are some of the requirements uh you know things like icos are not able to be advertised and i think that's a good thing DeFi also not able to be advertised but this is a step forward. This truly is a step forward from, you know, all different standpoints, but a very bullish thing for crypto in general. And here we are sitting at the bottom of a crypto dip. You can see it on the Bitcoin weekly. This is what has happened in the last couple of months, really. And, you know, markets really just waiting to see if there's going to be a bullish reversal. You know, we have to continue tracking the charts, but I will say in an environment where there is, bullish reversal, bullish continuation into the bull markets. These are the things that truly do help set it up. This this stuff doesn't hurt. And I think a lot of people might be waiting for, you know, an initial blast off just because of this news. And I just want to I just want to say this. Over the years, oftentimes news comes out and there is not an there's not an initial jump immediately right off of that news. So don't be surprised, you know, if there's a lagging just series of higher highs, higher lows for Bitcoin climbing out of this, you know, out of this dip that it has found itself in. And the the important thing to note is kind of what I said in the intro, is this fuel for those higher highs and higher lows. And this is just one, this is just one little piece of fuel, potentially in my opinion. So we have to track it though. We have to wait for confirmation. And I say this all the time. It probably gets, you know, especially if you're like a permable, you're just waiting for that breakout. We have to wait for confirmation. Now, I want to start with the weekly real quick, just to show you the setup is there. It is just up for the taking for Bitcoin right now. On the weekly chart, Bitcoin has cooled down so much from this overbought area. Remember, we were overbought starting at $40,000 all-time high. And we actually continued up to the $60,000 area, seeing this bearish divergence on the RSI. But since then, we've gotten that correction to the 50-week 50, 50 moving average. Bitcoin just hanging out down here way below overbought area. Uh, and then on the stock RSI, has been oversold for weeks now. Oversold for weeks. Cooled down on the MACD. There's just so much room on all of these oscillators for upside. There's so much room for Bitcoin to continue in this bull market. So it's something to kind of keep in mind as we start zooming in. And here's the daily. One thing just to note on the daily is we're going to dig into what's happening here, symmetrical triangle, the resistance, but the breakout target up here in the $53,000, $54,000 area is an important area. You can see this 50-day moving average is kind of just right in that path. And that's a very important area for Bitcoin to get to. And on top of that, going back to the weekly chart right here, right around $48,000 is the 20 week moving average on the macro side of things. This is where Bitcoin needs to get to. And, you know, I said the other day, probably last week or something, it wouldn't surprise me. This just makes sense to be the very next move for Bitcoin, even in a continued bear trend, because we want to see Bitcoin at the very least test this area and potentially there's resistance and we go lower, right? That's always in play. This is what happened at the beginning of the last bear market going into that bear market. And that's the divergence we want to see. We want to see Bitcoin break that area. So a retest of this area at the very least, $48,000 uh, for Bitcoin makes most sense. And you can just see uh, Bitcoin, the path to its targets out of the symmetrical triangle is there. Take a quick look at a video I did May 27th. I mean, this is, this is the very short-term resistance Bitcoin needs to get out of at the very least up to around $40,000. 
uh, three hundred dollars at the seven eight six line. You can see for days now, three days, Bitcoin has been testing this Fibonacci. So there we were, May twenty seventh, talking about exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video: a new Fibonacci resistance, and this is what it looked like then. It was a swing high, a swing low, and there's the Fibonacci resistance we were in, waiting for resist or waiting for that resistance to break, waiting for bullish confirmation through and it didn't happen. We traded for days at that resistance and then boom, we came back down. Notice every leg uh, along the way, boom, very bullish, sentiment very bullish. And then what happens is we get the rejection that makes a lot of sense on the charts and then everybody's kind of bearish. I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people, sentiment in general, bearish because we're going to the downside, the bear market back in play. And now here we are going back to the upside and look at the consolidation, the ping pong move. We talk about all the time as we consolidate in these within these Fibonacci's right now, 13% to the upside from that last swing low. And here we are at a new Fibonacci resistance. It's that last resistance high to that swing low. And here it is. And Bitcoin wicking into it, you know, today on the six hour, right around $38,000 at the 618 line, the 786 line, right around $39,300. That's the resistance on the short term to watch for. So we've we've just tracked this so nicely. We got the huge capitulation to the downside. We talked about we need structure on these charts, on these crypto charts across the board. Structure has formed. It has formed into a symmetrical triangle, which is no surprise at all. It happens so often. And also no surprise, we've just been bouncing between these Fibonacci's uh, creating this story, creating the picture that you see on the screen. And now here we are. Uh, entering close to the symmetrical triangle apex. On these symmetrical triangle apexes, we anticipate breakouts at around 74% to the apex. That's based off of data that we use here, upward 60% of the time, 74% of the way to the triangle apex. So that's where we are right now in terms of Bitcoin tracking this. Uh, support uh, to the downside, just to throw it out there, because again, not only can uh, sentiment move very quickly, but the charts can. So that last swing low now to if this Fibonacci serves as resistance, swing high, support is down here at a 618, around 35,300 to the 786, around 34,500. Notice if that move happened, Bitcoin would be, you know, and it could happen right here. Bitcoin would be very much approaching the apex of the symmetrical triangle closer to that 74% of the way there. Notice that, you know, the 74% rule is, is an average. It's not an, it's not an exact thing. Bitcoin can very well decide to break through. Bitcoin can kind of trickle through the upper end and then we get a breakout. Um, we have to let these things play out, but I just, I want to, you know, I want to track it non-emotionally, no bullish, no bearish. I just want to track it. There's underlying bullish sentiment, obviously in the markets coming off of this swing low and, you know, getting that 13% to the upside move, but then we have what happened yesterday, the Coinbase partnering with Apple and Google wallets. And then we have what's happening right now today, Google to let crypto exchanges and wallets target US users. We have these bullish things in play, could be the perfect foundation for a breakout out of the symmetrical triangle, which will lead us to the areas that Bitcoin truly needs to test up here towards the target of the symmetrical triangle, up here towards the 50 day moving average on the daily chart around 49,000. Over here, the 20 week moving average around 48,000. These are the areas we need to see Bitcoin test to really get the midterm to long term macro view bullish reversal confirmation. But it all really does start here on the short term. And here we are testing this little Fibonacci resistance. Will Bitcoin break through today? I have a busy day ahead. I wanted to do a quick update for you. I appreciate you cruising by in this Bitcoin video. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe, hit the like. Have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.